Noon, it's one of the largest drug busts in U.S. history, and now we've learned that two people are facing charges in connection to the case. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Janelle Burrell. More than $1 billion worth of cocaine is now in the custody of federal authorities. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden has been following this story since it broke, and he joins us from the port where that massive cocaine bust went down. Joe. Good afternoon, and the big question right now, we know that the ship obviously docked here in Philadelphia. It came our way after a stop in the Bahamas and was set to then go to the Netherlands. So was this cocaine, this 16 and a half ton shipment of cocaine, was it destined for here in the Philadelphia region or elsewhere? Those questions remain to be answered. Let's go ahead and take you up for a better view of the action from Chopper 3. The ship has been juggled around quite a bit because of the intense traffic that comes through this port. It was at a docking station to the south yesterday. It has moved a bit north, closer to the Walt Whitman Bridge. Right now, we understand federal authorities continue to go through containers, believing there could be more drugs on the boat. Federal authorities in Philadelphia have yet to take questions about the major cocaine seizure, a significant law enforcement operation that continues for a third day along the Packer Avenue Marine Terminal. Within the hour, the U.S. Attorney for Pennsylvania's Eastern District released these photos from aboard the MSC Guyane. Federal court records obtained by CBS3 reveal two men are charged in connection to the massive smuggling operation. They're identified as Ivan Durasevich and Fanafave Tiasaga. Further information about the pair was not released. The ship had last been in the Bahamas and was destined for the Netherlands before federal authorities raided the boat, discovering 16 and a half tons of cocaine. Court documents outline the cocaine was apparently loaded onto the ship by the baleful, delivered to the MSC Guyane by six separate boats in the middle of the night. Records go on to show, quote, according to Dorosevich, upon leaving Peru on this current voyage, he got a call from the chief officer to come down to the deck, at which time he saw nets on the port side stern by the ship's crane. Dorosevich and approximately four other individuals, some of whom were wearing ski masks, assisted in the pushing of the nets towards hold seven or eight of the vessel. The nets contained blue or black bags with handles. Two or three crew members assisted in loading the cocaine into containers. The whole process took approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Additional boats approached the ship, it's alleged, delivering even more cocaine. The drugs were then concealed in containers. We're back live looking from Chopper 3 down on the MSC Guyane. This process significant in scope, fine tooth in scale. Right now, as the charge reads from the court document, both suspects have been found, according to federal prosecutors, to be in violation of a United States law by knowingly and intentionally conspiring to possess with intent to distribute approximately 16 and a half tons. That is 33,000 pounds of cocaine, a Schedule II controlled substance, while on a vessel subject to United States jurisdiction. Once again, it is federal prosecutors alleging that the value on the streets of this cocaine is a billion dollars. That is the latest reporting live in South Philadelphia. Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joe.